Hey guys, Larissa Rodriguez with Salient Oils. Uh, you can catch me at S-A-L-I-E-N-T-O-I-L-S.com. That's where you're going to find all these products. Um, but tonight I am coming at you with some information about bay, bay oil. You guys may um, cook with bay. A lot of people use bay leaves in their cooking. Um, I know a lot of ethnicities use it. It's not just like a northern thing or a southern thing or anything like that. It's used kind of like all over the world. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about Bay. I was going to do this on Monday, which was my plan, but with the whole uh, holiday weekend that happened, I decided to just do it tonight instead. So sorry, guys. If you guys were expecting it on Monday, I apologize. Forgive me. Okay, so what is Bay oil? Um, bay comes from these leaves right here. If you can see the leaf, I'm going to come up really close so you guys can see it. I do have a little bit of reflection, so I apologize about that. But you can see these leaves. Um, a lot of people will use these in their cooking and they just take the leaf and throw it in and cook it as is like that. So this is bay. This is what it looks like. So where does our bay oil come from? Our bay oil comes from Jamaica Mon. So if you guys um, have ever been to Jamaica, that's where our bay oil comes from. Hello guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys all had a fantastic 4th of July, um, or at least did something fun with the family, got together, or something like that. Okay, I'm talking about bay oil. So how do we extract it? It's through steam distillation, and we do dis do distill it from the leaves. Um, so what does it blend well with? It blends well with geranium, lavender, lang lang. It looks like ylang ylang, but it's lang lang. That's how it's pronounced, and other citrus oils like orange, grapefruit, lemon, lime, things of that nature. Um, but okay, let's get to the, the nitty gritty. What is bay used for? That's what you guys really want to know, right? And you're like, yeah, okay, great. Now, what do, you, what do you use bay for? Okay, so bay is used for pain. You can use it for arthritis, you can use it in massage. Um, you can also use it as an astringent. So like we have a little something going on over here. So I could use a little bay on that and just help clear that out. Um, what else can you use it for? You can use it for poor circulation. You can use it on your scalp to help your hair regrow. And how it does that is it boosts um, scalp circulation. So that's why a lot of people will do like massages or they have certain products that will kind of like um, kind of re-stimulate the scalp and you do it in like a circular motion. Um, you can also use it as an air freshener and a great one for this time of year. You can use it as an insect repellent. So this is our bay here. It's a pretty cheap essential oil. It's $11.99 per bottle. I will put the link down in the comments when I have time. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys a little bit about bay. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are interested in any of these, it's salientoils.com, S-A-L-I-E-N-T-O-I-L-S. You can send me an email at info at salientoils.com. You can message me on Facebook. Um, you can stop in the store. However it's easiest for you to contact me, go ahead. If you have a question out there, say you're dealing with some sort of um, illness, maybe it's like fibromyalgia, um, just general pain, maybe you need help sleeping, something of that nature, just let me know. You can PM me, you can um, write a post on Facebook, whatever it is, just let me know and maybe I can find something to help you. All right, thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic Tuesday.